Okay, so it's pretty clear to most of you, I think, that Dark Angels are my favourite chapter and Legion. I have loved and talked about them and played them since, like, the Angels of Death Codex back in 2nd edition. I just love all of their lore, their names, their story, their background, their look. It is just, it's everything I look for when I envision Space Marines and the Adeptus Astartes, both in 30k and 40k. I just love everything about them. I think they are the coolest chapter, the coolest legion, and I, I just, I cannot get enough of reading and seeing them and just playing them. But even if they are not your chosen legion or chapter, I think it is relatively hard to argue that in the Heresy at least, they do have some of the coolest and well-designed models that Forge World have ever made. And now we may have, without any exaggeration at all, the nicest non-Primark character that has ever come from the vaults of Forge World, because finally, after many, many years of waiting, we finally have a model for arguably one of the top three duelists among the Astartes during the Heresy, the Seneschal of the Lion himself, Corswain, Paladin Captain of the Ninth Order. And my god, just look at that model. Is that not the most perfect recreation of what Space Marines are supposed to be? He's knightly, unrelenting, menacing, heroic, terrifying, all in one package. It is just, for me, it's just perfect. When I hear Space Marines or Adeptus Astartes, especially in the Heresy, that is exactly what I see. It really is just perfect for me. I love everything about it. I love his modified Mark II armor, his helmet, the cloak, his pose, which is, you know, not too over the top. Uh, he's not exerting too much energy. He's much like the lion and that he is so composed and poised and confident with his blade that he only needs to exert just the right amount of energy to make sure that he will kill whatever unfortunate opponent is in his way. I love the little mark of the hexagrammaton on his belt. I love the chainmail layer inside his cloak. Everything about this model is just the perfect image of not just a dark angel for me, but of a space marine, a crusading, heroic, terrifying, knightly angel of death. I really love that enormous two-handed bastard style sword with the stunning large ornamental hilt, the jagged bottom of the blade, even the handle just looks so cool, like it's e elongated, it's just big enough so that it looks like this ancient Zweihander style sword. And I just love how he sort of emulates the lion in sort of his pose and his stance and his poise. It just looks so similar to the Primark and you can really tell looking at this model, especially side by side with the lion, that, that he is a genuine son of the lion, like he comes from his genetic material, he has trained and learnt under the tutelage of the lion, they just look like father and son so, so clearly, and I love that aesthetic for them. I'm sorry that I may be a little bit overhyped for this, if you are not a fan of that I do apologise, but this is just a model I've been waiting for literally for years, and it is exactly what I wanted, like even the little details I think just add so much to the character too, I love the little monsters and beasts of Caliban, their tails lining the back of the cloak. I love his unhelmeted option as well because he looks so much like the lion. Like it really is almost a perfect emulation of those genetics of his Primarch. I love the, the swords, the, the keys and the chains that are littering his armour. It is just enough. It doesn't go over the top in any way, but you can clearly tell that this is Corswain. You know, he is important and notable and deadly. You know, he is everything that the, the members of the Dark Angels know and have heard about him and that his opponents have come to kind of fear from him. For me, it's just such a unique model and yet similar enough to the Lion and the rest of the Dark Angel range that he just fits in so well whilst being clearly a step above 
everyone else apart from the Primarch. Like, seeing this guy on the battlefield, you know this is the guy that is going to kill you or that you are going to have to kill to try and break the Dark Angel lines. He has just got so much character and design and menace in him. Like, just that casual step forward. I know in one of my other videos I was complaining about the lack of dynamism on the, the Death Guard Praetors. This isn't super, super dynamic, but it's just enough. It's such a casual, nonchalant step forward. Like, it really does give you the impression that Corswain is this poised, composed, self-assured, perfect swordsman. Like, he doesn't need to charge in at full speed. He can literally just stroll towards you, and he knows exactly when to parry your blow, and then swing with his sword and cut you in half, which, of course, is exactly what Corswain is. Like, he is... I mean, he's not as good as Sigismund, admittedly, but he is definitely, I would say, in the top three of Astartes duelists, and he gives you that impression 100% with this model. So yes, overall, I'm super, super hyped. I love this. I think it looks fantastic, and I cannot say enough good things about it. But I will, because I don't want to go on for too long. But this is easily my favorite non-Primark model that Forge World have ever done, and even going into 40k, I can't think of many other models that I love more than this one. I just cannot wait to add him to my collection. But as always, I would really love to know your opinions. Is this the course way in it that you were hoping for, or would you have maybe done something differently? Let me know down in the comments below, and as always, thank you very, very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me, but until next time, I'll catch you later guys.